Hi guys, this is your reading for Wednesday the 14th of September. Thank you for joining me. Let's have a look at the message for this day. To see what you'll be working with. Wow, okay. Three reverse cards, which represents a shift, a change. We've got a sense of instability, a lack of decision, and a lack of judgment. So you may not be quite certain about what's going on. You don't know whether it's good or bad. And because of that, you are unwilling to take any action to make a decision. And you're hesitating. You're holding back. Because they're all in reverse, let's turn all of these around. And the way this is, we've got someone looking at the negatives and grieving and taking action from a place of negativity and creating more negativity in their life that is more structured and solid. Okay, so today it is very good to back off a little bit and it's better to do nothing than to do something that would solidify negativity in your life. Okay, so let's say you are an alcoholic in recovery. Okay, and you've been sober for years and uh, your relationship has just ended and you think, well, I'm lonely, I, no one loves me, I, w I might as well drink. Something bad has happened, so I'm going to add something additionally bad on top of that. I'm going to make a decision as a result of something bad happening in my life. My partner left me, therefore I'm going to decide that I'm going to feel better if I drink. Then you take the drink or the alcoholic takes the drink and he's back on it forever. And he's taken that negative situation and he has solidified it in some way and made a decision around a negative circumstance in life that then, you know, if he hadn't taken a drink, he would have been over the breakup maybe in a month or maybe in six months. But now the breakup becomes irrelevant and the real problem becomes the alcoholism and this person being back on the drink and drinking themselves to death. So it's something negative that was taken the wrong way to create an even worse circumstance. So that's the potential here. So if you don't know what to make of a situation, if something does happen, first of all, look at the positive. Don't take a knee jerk, don't have a knee jerk reaction to whatever it is that happened and say, okay, well, uh, my phone provider has just cut off my phone, therefore I'm immediately going to take them to court and I'm going to do something about them because how dare they treat me this way. Because that could embroil you, if that's a word, or that could put you in a long legal battle that's going to be a problem in itself rather than the phone situation which could have been solved quite easily. Do you see what I mean? So if you respond to anything negative that happens on this day with a knee-jerk reaction, you're going to bring about a set of circumstances which are going to be even more problematic in themselves. And it's a good day to observe and to look at anything negative that happens and to see it for what it is and not to get swept up in it, but just to observe it. It's very likely that this circumstance doesn't even touch you. It may even just scoot past you. Maybe, you know, so for instance, maybe someone in your office is uh, gossiping. If you get involved in that gossip, you could really create a problem in your relationship with the person being gossiped about. If you just ignore it, that person will drift on somewhere else and talk to someone else about what they want to share. You know, gossip with someone else and you're not directly affected by it. It's when you get involved that you're directly affected by it. So that's the thing. Look at things, if they are negative, approach them in the way of this will pass. If I don't do anything here, if I don't get involved, this will move out of my life. I don't need to put a lot of action in. And that's the way forward today. And this will leave. This will... Um, pass on this will go this will move on and out of your life and all you need to do is be hands off today hands off okay so that's really practical advice if there's you know if your solicitor comes to you and says listen something dreadful has happened with the sale of the house we need to act now that is acting on a desperate situation which is going to cause you an even more desperate situation so don't do it don't let yourself be pressured today it's very clear guidance number wise what have we got we've got four and 2 is 6, and 5 is 11, and 11 is the master number of service, okay? And what this means is if you take action today, you have 
the power to influence a whole bunch of other people around you. Let's go back to that example about someone gossiping. Okay, You get involved in the gossip rather than just letting it go in one ear and out the other. And what happens is you drag that person who is being gossiped about into it. You drag yourself into it, your family members, their family members, and it becomes a whole situation. So your decision or your your focus and your determination not to decide, not to be dragged into whatever it is, that is going to have a positive impact on a whole bunch of other people around you. So if you keep your side of the street clean today and you don't do anything, then you're going to help all of those people who are walking down your side of the street because it's clean and nice and sunny and positive. Whereas if you get involved in a whole bunch of negativity and anger and gossip or whatever it is, then everyone who comes into contact with you will be affected by that negativity. Really clear message that your actions have consequences not just for you, but for other people as well. Despite this, you can really have a great day. I mean, just recognize the negativity and let it don't hang on to it and try and uh, detach yourself from it. And you can have a wonderful day. This is just a warning that there is a potential pitfall in this day and it's very easily avoided. So I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you can order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe and I'll speak to you tomorrow.